My goal is to provide the best service I can to the participants and to the agency as a whole. My goal when I write to the Center of Hope every day is to provide a positive uh, influence to whoever I'm around, whoever I surround, um, especially if I'm working with a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I just want to make sure that I give a, a great day for them and um, in return I receive a great day from them. So Just have a positive attitude with them, have fun. If I do skills training, teach them what I know and what they can take home with them. That is my main goal when I arrive. My goal when coming to work each day is to be able to balance the physical aspect of the job, like the paperwork, the meetings, and those kind of things, along with the relational um, portion of the job. My goal when I arrive to work every day is to uh, create a positive environment for our individuals, you know, learn to better communicate and enrich their lives, and uh, just have a good time with everybody. Okay, my goal for every day when I come to work is to leave happy and in order for that to happen, that is making sure that my one-to-ones and all the other participants are as happy, healthy, and satisfied with their daily lives with us as possible. To see them coming to me and letting me know the problems they have through the day and helping them out to achieve them. So they could go happy and smiling and and that makes my day. Some of the things I like working here at the Center of Hope is just the people, the passion that many people I've met here have for uh, special needs. And um, it's just a great uh, joy to work with people who, who have such a heart uh, to serve the community and serve these uh, individuals. I like the, the fact that you never repeat the same thing two days in a row. Um, my favorite part of working at the Center of Hope is I have so many. There's never a dull moment. I have so much fun working here. I love all the participants. I love all my coworkers and my bosses. Um, and I've been around, you know, I haven't been working here, but I came to the Center of Hope as soon as I was born. So, <laughs> I mean, obviously I love it. I like working at the Center of Hope because of all the staff and the clients that we work with, the interactions that we have with each other, and um, just the overall center in general. Um, it's like a family. We're just very loving and caring towards each other, and the Center of Hope's best. <laughs> like most about uh, working at COH is that you really get a chance to enact positive change in people's lives, and uh, you, know, you really get to see the progress from the work that you put in. It gives me an opportunity to help others in a way I've never been able to do before. It's a rewarding job and it's so important because this is a population that typically the um, you know society is uncertain of, they're not sure how to behave around them and this gives me the opportunity to take people out in the community and help them to see that there's nothing to be afraid of and to you know have people engage with other people you know make them feel more comfortable. At Center of Hope uh, we really recognize that everyone's got different needs um, different wants, different desires, different capabilities, and uh, the center is really, really nimble and really uh, adept at, at really servicing everybody's wide array of, of different needs. One of the ways I try to improve the, the quality of life around Center Hope when I arrive on a daily basis is I try to make individuals, uh, I try to empower individuals in uh, any aspect of what we do here at Center Hope. The Center of Hope gives people the opportunity to work and feel um, needed and proud about themselves and also provides dignity in, in different ways. I'm teaching them life skills, helping them with personal problems, getting them out into the community, doing fun things that they like, um, Special Olympics. I, I, I believe that the Center of Hope improves the quality of life for many people here. Um, it gives some folks a place to stay for the day. Other people, we offer work opportunities, mm -hmm. um, integrating with the community, just getting out and being with people, um, and having a, a spot here to interact with each other. 
um, and try to learn different skills and just participate in daily life, help them to get to where they need to be. And yeah, it's a great place. How do I find an effective way to communicate with the individuals? Um, I approach them if there's ever a problem in a very positive manner. Uh, I never start off the conversation in a negative way. Being able to really break it down and get on a level of understanding and to be able to effectively communicate with people is the quickest way to a positive solution and to progress, progress that makes everybody have a better life. The qualities that I possess, um, I think are, I have a creative mind, I appreciate organization, I like plans, and I try to be compassionate. All right. The most important quality I believe for any employee here is just to treat everybody as an equal. That's all people want, treat an equal. I like Sun Hall because I have friends and I've been here for 16 years and I've actually been happy with a lot of people here, and the skill training is awesome. I like about the Center Hope is it's a gigantic big family. Is there something that stands out over all the years that you think would be your best quality of the Center of Hope? Living in the port of housing apartments. Center of Hope is working. The thing I like about this and help is I get to hang out with my friends I made here. I know the most favorite thing about Central Hope is painting and coloring. Is there anything else you like? Yeah. And basketball. <laughs> my favorite is about Central Hope is um, doing transports. I love Central Hope is helping me learn money skill. Living on, living on your own and get you a job out in the community. What I like about Central Hope is I get to see all my friends. Okay, the most I like to do uh, Central Hope is like going bowling and uh, I do, I like work. My favorite part in this center is they let me take part in special Olympics. The staff helped me to calm down right in the journey and I'll take a walk, I'll count to ten. I did listen to me with the problems that I have. Can I talk about it with me until until I understand about everything what what happens. When I met Seth, I can always go talk to Martin or a different staff person who I trust. Then they help me calm down by walking away from this situation. When I get to it, staff help me by coming to ten. They talk to me, you know, or if they help me like that, they, you know, you know, they talk to me nice. When when I'm upset, staff can help me by. Calming me down and me writing my complaint form. And when I get really upset, they can just put me in a cool down area and I cool down. Staff treat me with respect by showing me they care about me. How do they show you that they care about they, you? They, they put me aside and see how I'm doing. Staff show respect by listening to me 
and understanding me and helping me through my work and where I live. You know, you can joke around with them or they can joke around with you and like that. My statues that by is like um, asking me positive thing I did last night and what um, how to like how to not talk about negative. Staff do you like this whatever I think Gary? They treat us nicely like we if we wanna treat them as they would treat us good. Positive things that I've seen at the Center of Hope, especially the activities between the dances, um, Country for a Cause, the bike run, that everybody interacts really, really nice. People who aren't familiar with Center of Hope um, get a real positive idea of what's happening here at the Center of Hope. We love the Center of Hope. They always greet our son um, in a warm manner and ask how he's doing, they speak to him directly. So when Gage is participating in football or basketball or volleyball, the staff is really great at going up to him and showing him, hey Gage, this is the right thing to do and you know, maybe you should try shooting, you know, like that. And at Center of Hope events, uh, positive interactions I've seen with my son and staff have been staff walking my son around so that he doesn't get bored in one spot or doing one activity. The positive interactions I see between Drew and staff, that Drew likes the staff he's with, he always thinks of them as his friends, he talks about them as his friends, and they get along really well and they're very helpful to him and he really likes being here when he can come here. He calls out, likes to come here because he says they're all his friends. Um, she's never treated badly, she's never, no one ever looks at her um, in a negative way, uh, just she's accepted for who she is. They treat him as an adult and um, he has a lot of fun working <laughs> working with uh, his uh, staff. Um, he can do uh, many activities that he may not be able to do if he wow. were not uh, participating in the center of hope, at the center of hope, whatever. <laughs> You want this comb? Look at me. You want this yeah. comb? What can you tell me? I I want he. What do you want, please? He. This is the change we've seen in Denise <gasps> Kanoya since no, she's been at the set. She's been more verbal, <laughs> stronger. And have the the um, I want to say breakdowns or meltdowns that he used to have he's much more in control and he seems to like the place he's at her aggression has disappeared about what 95 percent of it has disappeared at home um we are happier he has uh, been communicating better um he can hold a conversation with a person for 10 to 15 minutes which is something that he didn't do before Oh, as much as I liked my quiet little brother, um, it's great to see him try to say my name and instead of just waving, to say hi. He'll go up to people and, and say, you know, what are you doing? You know, where do you live? What's your name? What, what job do you do? Where do you work? Things like that where before, you know, he would ask me but not ask other people. The most positive thing is, again for me, is that she wants to come here. What sets the center apart from other agencies has to do, in my mind, with the person themselves. Um, Diana attended a different program that didn't work for her. She loves it here at the center, loves the people that she interacts with, um, doesn't always love everything, but people know when she's not happy. Nate's been in other agencies where the staff are just clock in and clock out. They don't care. They just do their job. and if you know, they have to do this at three o'clock and this at four o'clock and that at five o'clock, then that's when it gets done. But here at the center, they, the staff definitely appreciate 
individuals, they appreciate their individual personalities and they build their day around the person instead of the person around the day. Well, I can say that we checked out many agencies before we chose the Center of Hope. Um, we just felt that the other agencies didn't have the reputation and the, um, the, the proper fit for our daughter. Um, it's not just a place to, like a dumping ground, not just going to place your kid there or your adult kid for the day to, you know, so they have something to do. It's more of a place that they're going to be happy and comfortable with events or, or projects or trips or just have something to do and make them happy, not just a place to go for eight hours. I think what sets the Center of Hope apart from other organizations is the fact that the Center offers more opportunities for, for my son Drew because I hear that other places don't have the like the small businesses we have. Some of them aren't involved in the Special Olympics like we are here and Drew takes advantage of those opportunities. Center of Hope is, is separated from other agencies because of their caring because of their philosophy in dealing with people and treating people, um, treating people as people. With James, we've asked that, you know, he's, he's a, a go-getter kind of guy. <laughs> and we've asked, you know, even if he just is going out for a ride, and they've always done that. They've just always taken care of him. Um, I've heard from other programs that they don't even have work programs. They, people just sit in a program all day long that would not fly with James. Everything that we have always wanted for Adam to have, um, at Center of Hope, he's, he's, he's a given, he's exposed to. Um, we didn't have, we didn't go anywhere else because we knew that Center was where we wanted him to be. Qualities I think the staff has here, which makes the service very successful, is I, I think they truly enjoy their jobs. They like the clients that they work with. They enjoy, even when they come around here through the offices, everybody likes to say hello, and they inter there's a lot of interaction. And I think the interaction with the clients, think they, that they're just, it's just a big one, big happy family. I have to say that I have not found one person at the Center of Hope, at any event or program that has like a negative attitude. They're all very positive, very loving, uh, very caring, um, patient, patient, um, patient galore. I've noticed the staff are very respectful of Joe and his disability and his, I've, I've never heard a negative word come out of any of their mouths. All, all the young men that work with him have been delightful and um, seem to genuinely care about Joe. Each staff is so unique, um, same as each individual that served is so unique, but everyone strives to do their best and, and to really make a difference, and they're successful. The qualities that I feel a lot of the staff have at the Center of Hope, uh, basically they have wings and they don't even see them, they don't realize it. Coming from a mother's point of view, um, it makes me feel comfortable knowing that they're all patient with my son. They take extra time when it's needed, and they're firm when need be. And it's something that they don't realize, but they are angels. So one word that comes to mind when someone says Center of Hope is dedicated. What word comes to mind when you think Center of Hope? For me. The word that comes to mind when I think of the Center of Hope is, yes, I get a little bit of a break. The word that comes to mind for me when I hear the word Center of Hope in relationship to the clients is care. I think of the Center of Hope, I think of, although it's one big program, that everything here is individualized. Uh, what word comes to mind when I think of Center of Hope? Kindness. What one word comes to mind when I think of Center of Hope is amazing, just because each person here is so amazing. 
The word that comes to mind when I think of the Center of Hope is really special. There's some special staff, special guys, um, just a special place to be at during the day. And as you can see from Denise, um, she's really my special kid. Um, one word is just impossible. Um, there's so many um, fabulous, great, loving, caring. Um, it's impossible to say just one word. Um, dedicated. I would say dedicated is probably the best word. Um, dedicated and all embracing. So just so everyone knows, I went into my mom's office, told her that I was going to do this interview, didn't have any makeup on today, and she goes, oh, so you should go put some lipstick on. <laughs> <laughs>